What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building, coming to you with another live session, another live video, giving you some Valentine treat ideas. Hello, hello, I'm Miss Kenya Rivers. I'm getting to see your name often. Hello, hey Asia. What's up, girl? Jacqueline, Tara, Squad. Hey, hey, hey. India, hey. Deja, hey. Taji, hey. Uh-uh, Sin City, N NC. Is that what they say? Call Waiting? Hey, Miss Roof. South Texas, hey. Mika, here you go. You're here. Mika been waiting on this. Miami watching. What's up, Miami? Memphis representing. Hey, y'all. Hey. For those that will be re-watching this video, this is a live session. This is an actual time. So those that will be re-watching, it's not an edit video. So... I ask that if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on for the show. And I thank you for joining us and we're going to get right into the video. Okay, so what I'm doing in this video session is showing you how to make the cream savers strawberries. It's not what you all think it, it think it was to be like i use cream savers no i created the flavor and they're pretty much came out the same and all it is is using the strawberries um some colored chocolate and flavoring strawberry flavoring with the guitar vanilla you can use um a different um candy melts you can use white chocolate or white candy melts or Merkins chocolate candy melts, whatever you choose to have. But here it is, and we're going to get started. So what I'm going to do is go through the steps of how I melt my chocolate, how I clean my strawberries, and everything. So in this process, I have had my strawberries, and I dipped the container of strawberries in a bowl. Of water and apple cider vinegar so that they can last a little longer a lot of people ask how do I keep my leaf green on my strawberries well what I do is use a vegetable wash it's a veggie wash that you can order excuse me off Amazon I'm gonna leave the link in the description box um, and also the other supplies that I'll be using in this video will be in the description box as well But this is a vegetable wash that I use and I mix in a separate spray bottle I use about a third cup of the vegetable wash and about a third cup of apple cider vinegar With some water put it in a spray bottle after I have rinsed my strawberries I go through the process of everything that I mentioned and combine and I spray my berries once again okay okay I take them like to, to a two-part cleaning wash this I don't uh, cleaning process I don't soak them but I clean them I rinse them and what I do is dry them no you don't you don't taste taste that you can get you a separate spray bottle and spray it um, with water so you can have one with the water and one with your mixed solution okay now if you choose to go and just dry them I mean rinse them off again um, that's totally up to you but this is my process and how I try to keep my leaves as green um, as possible I'm just gonna transfer that make sure that you pull all dead leaves from around your berries 
okay? And make sure you rinse because you, you, you have a good rinsing method so that um, your berries won't taste like apple cider vinegar. Okay? So rinse, rinse, rinse. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, rinse, spray, rinse. Okay? Taking your toothpicks. Um, if you have large berries, you want to double your uh, toothpicks. And insert them at the top of your berries and place them over to be set to dip make sure that sits up right after I dip If you have any weak weak areas in your strawberries, um, when you insert your toothpick, just reposition them. Find another area that uh, is not weak, so you won't have trouble dipping them. Okay. So now I'm going to melt my candy melts, and I'm using a guitar uh, white chocolate going through the process of dipping for 30 seconds going through the 30 second process um, in a glass container helps melt your candy melts or your chocolate you want to make sure you don't overheat your candy melts um, during this process um, by just simply, you know, mixing them and making sure that all the melts are melted. Okay? If they have to go back in, then you put them back in the, on the time, depending on how much is melted. So what you see here is all of them are not melted, but I'm just going to mix them around a little bit just to move the chocolate around so that, um, you know, I don't have any burn or any of them stick, okay? So I'm gonna put this back in because I have majority of them still not melted. So I'm gonna put this back in for another 30 seconds. Okay. Now, making these cream savers, it's a cream saver flavor, and I just mashed it up with cream savers because they tasted just like tr cream savers. Um, using a vanilla candy milk and a strawberry, um, a strawberry flavor. I use um, strawberry or cherry. The cherry is a, a bolder taste of the strawberry flavor so to get that taste that cream saver taste you can either use cherry or strawberry like those cream savers like i did um where can you find them because they don't sell them out in the store anymore that i've seen you can get them off of amazon okay so a lot of my melts did not melt, but what I do is mix around enough so I can melt majority of the melts using from the heat of the already melted chocolate and the glass container, okay? This is a good high quality uh, candy melt. Uh, everybody know I prefer um, Merkins, and I also love uh, Guitar. It's really good. Okay. So what I'm doing is working. Um, sorry about my my babies. I'm working my melts around, utilizing the heat from the glass and the other melts 
just so that I will have a lesser time to put it back in the microwave if I need to. A lot of times when people see that they have a lot of milk still in here, what they'll do is just put it back in the microwave and throw in another 30 seconds. That's how you burn or overheat um, your candy melt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this back in for about 15 seconds. So that's 15 seconds up. Okay. Even though I see a few lumps in there, but what I'm doing is just mixing and working those melts around so they can melt down. Okay. And that's all melted. I got a good flow of the chocolate milk. And now it's time to flavor. Flavoring your chocolate, it don't take but a couple of drops. You don't need to overdo it. You don't need to add a full dram. This is chocolate. It will seize. So what you want to do is add one to two drops. One. Two. If another one fall in, just make sure you don't have no more than that. Because it will seize up. So you have to um, be careful. Okay? And just gener gener generously mix that in. Okay? If you mix more and you put and it's in there and your candy milks begin to get thick because you didn't add it too much flavor. Okay? Remember this is already, you know, the Loran oils is very potent and you also have a vanilla candy milk. So, you're combining those flavors too, um, and it's enhancing the flavor of your melt. All right, so now your flavor is, your candy melts are flavored. I still got a good even flow. Okay, no seasoning. And then, these are the chocolate food colorings that I use to color my chocolate and also um, the company uh, that I order from, I will list in the description box as well, but it's by Chocolate Chameleon and they have a pink and this is a rose, um, a rose pink, which I am going to use. Now you can choose to use either or um, and you can order from Quanta Treats and I will leave the link in the description box up under the video so that you can um, go back and order um, this chocolate. This really works good um, and it helps color your chocolate, thinning your chocolate a little bit. Um, it thins your chocolate really well. So this is a good product to have when coloring um, your candy melts, especially black, especially black and red, okay? So, here's what everybody's been waiting for. How do you do that? Simple. Shake it up. Now, trust me. Get Loran's strawberry. It tastes good. As well as cherry. But I choose strawberry over the cherry. And what I do is take the coloring, 
go back and forth up and down okay take the big one so y'all can see just like that I don't need to mix anything okay the technique that I use I'm gathering my leaves with my toothpick okay I'm gonna go in all the way and as I come back up I'm going to turn and go back in and do that again turn Okay. Let me turn that a little bit more to lighten up the color. Okay. Once again, turn, go back in. And you have to have a full jar to do to do this. Go straight in, hold that leaf, and just turn, coming back up. Scrape the bottom, set it down, press forward. See that, Mika? <laughs> Just like that. Go back down. Turn as you're coming up. Uh-oh. Set it down and push forward. Give it a little shake. Go in. And that's how you make a cream saver strawberry. That's it. Remember, have a full cup. So you can do that. Rotate. You want to get some coloring in there. Come back up. Just like that. Any questions? Any questions? That's how you make the cream savers strawberries. All in the flavoring and all in the technique of creating your berry. Press forward. This one caught more of the uh, color on top. I'm just going to re-dip her. And she was re-dipped. Remember, if you start getting a puddle and it smells really good, just move it and place it in another position. Okay, this one is dry. It 
and that's your berry. Strawberry cream candy. <laughs> All right, uh oh. I'm gonna nick that one. In the case you nick a strawberry, put it back in there and just rotate it and bring it back up. That's how you save your strawberry. Okay, re dip it. You're welcome, Taji. Glad I'm snowed in this weekend. I am too. So y'all might get two videos today. Thank you. Any questions? Do, 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 do. Are you still doing your individual classes and where can I get the information? Yes, I am. If you go to my business page on Facebook, Your Sweet Connection, send a message. And let us know what class you want to sign up for right now. Um, I have today. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the Valentine workshop for the sale. The last day for the Valentine workshop is February 1st. But the sale is $20 and it ends tomorrow night. Tomorrow midnight. 12 Eastern Standard Time. Um, thank you. Is the last day for the sale. I'm doing so much in this workshop. You learn so much. Fire is packaging, how to package, marketing, pricing, all that good stuff to help you with your Valentine sales. That is what this workshop is geared around. And it's only $20. If you like to join, you could go visit my Facebook business page, Your Sweet Connection. Send us a message and my assistant, Nadine, will help you. Everyone thinks it's me, but it's not. I do have a team that helps me with all of this. Okay? And everybody is having a phenomenal time. So it's good to see people learning and growing. And that's the benefit of it all. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and if I miss some of y'all questions and you really want me to answer them after the video, please re answer, I mean, re um, ask in the comment section below. Because after the video is done, I can't go back to the live conversation and, and, and just answer the question. So, she can't give everything for free. What's wrong? What happened? Can you have more red once you dip a few strawberries? Yeah, you actually can. Um, well, this is pink. I added pink, but you actually can if you want to, and then if you add too much more, then you're going to turn the whole thing pink. The idea of it is to um, have pink and white, okay? If you add too much pink, this is, you know, what's going to happen. You stir it around, you're going to have more more pink it looks red but it's, it's pink and I'm just going to redip this one okay Uh -oh. I had to remember which side I set it on. But that's, that's that. And be careful when your leaves, if they do crumble, just take a toothpick and just move it off. Okay. Can you show us how to do the strawberry cream candy apple. Um, 
I think I did a video. It's a video on there already. It's a video on there how I did the marble effect to it's uh Valentine Apple. If you go to my uh channel, go to my videos and you will see the video done in that is that technique is in that video. Exactly. Michigan has snow. We do. What do you do? What do you do if you have extra chocolate left over? Can you save it for another time? Yes, Diamond. I do. I save my chocolate all the time. I actually put them in um, zip uh, piping bags. Like if I want to use it for piping, I would put it in a piping bag and you can reheat the piping bag. Make sure there's no metal tied around the top. Um, and you can just place it right into the microwave and heat it up for about 20 seconds or until it's completely melted and you can use it for um, piping. Or if you want to put it in a container, put it in a container like so, cover the top up and you can melt the container, but make sure the container is microwavable and that you can melt it um, that you can melt your chocolate in the container and use it for whatever use you want to use it for. Cream lifesavers. What type of gel wipe this? I'm not understanding your question. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, this is a, um, a chocolate flavor. This is a difference. There's a difference. You have to shake well. This is a chocolate food coloring. And the gel food coloring, like Chef Masters, or any gel food coloring, we all used to use. I used to use the gel food coloring to color my chocolate before they came out with this. A lot of times when you add too much coloring to it, what you would do is you will add coloring then you will have to add paramount crystals or shortening to thin because they have other um suppliers that sell for them and i'm going to uh, leave the link where i order mine from so that you all can order and i love and I want to get into it. I'm just taking notes. Well, welcome. Is that my sister? Okay. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. I'm just going back through the questions. Thank you so much. All righty. Any other questions before I signed out? Sign out. I use Chef Mask. I mean, I use uh, Merkins or Guitar. Um, in this video, I use Guitar Candy Melt. But I always use Merkins. If guitar is available, I will get it. It's just a higher, it's a higher quality of uh, candy melts. It melts really good, and it's it's much more. It costs more than the uh, Merkins, but Merkins work just as well. Um, but I prefer, I prefer them both really. Can I reach you another way? I don't have. Facebook. Oh my God, I'm all I'm all on Facebook. Um, uh, you can email me, but my assistants will probably get that information. Do you like Wilton's? Wilton's is okay. Wilton's to me is a beginner's chocolate candy melt. I um, don't prefer 
Wilton because I, I don't like to turn out Merkins works better for me so you get what works for you some people use um, I forgot that other chocolate from uh, almond bark so you do what works for you you can color almond bark as well but I prefer Merkins or gu guitar the link of some of the chocolates, candy melts, and the description box, and also the food, uh, the gel, the food coloring. Yes, you're gonna find it hard to get a good consistency with Wilton's. If it doesn't work for you, then I would suggest using Merkins. to go up to the next level of candy milk. Okay? All right, that's my time. And y'all already know, if you are new to my channel, I welcome you all. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let y'all know that I'm coming on. I'm telling you, I'll be back. I still got to do those roses, those rose petal strawberries with you all. And also, I'm going to do um, a few candy apples. So, stay tuned. Keep your notifications on. And your girl, Ro, will be back on. It's your girl, Ro. Got to go. But y'all already know what I'm going to do.